Alright, what's up you guys? Monday, March 12, 2018. About 3pm East Coast. Right, so I uh, found the uh, new dude, you can hear him in the background, this is Mike Love. Hawaiian style, Hawaiian style. And you know, it's really fascinating to me that I haven't come across this dude before. You know, here I go to attend UH Manoa 1993. That was a long time ago, right? And, you know, reggae music was my thing. You know, I went through my redhead dreadlock phase, I went through my quiet herb man phase, smuggling. Kind of DC Lesquiti Island from Vancouver Island to Hawaii and stuffed animals, but the best method to date still basketball. <laughs> yeah, and that idea came to me. I was like, oh, I like you. And, uh, you know, it's funny because you, you could fit exactly one elbow of nice, fluffy, sticky, one, one of them, and you take a little incision in a regular basketball, stuff it, stuff it with the elbow of BC's finest, Lesquiti Island, and once you got it in there, just, uh, sealed up, you know, with your rubber cement, <clears throat> or, you know, I didn't use rubber cement, okay, I used a strong compound, obviously, uh, because, well, see, uh, when we did the stuffed animal, you know, I did try to limit the smell, because these DC Lesquiti Islands, yeah, they give up just a tiny little aroma. <laughs> and I really don't know because the process from Vancouver Island, Victoria to Oahu, my friend's house, it was a three week process to get through the customs. I don't understand how because when my friend went home one day and saw, you could see the package because I had it. So it's obvious that was the one, and I, I sent it to like Doctor So and So. My, my genius idea was well, you know, if I send it to a doctor, I'm not gonna worry, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, he said honestly, when he got to about the 10 foot mark away from the box, it just hit him, ba bam, you know. <laughs> And, uh, so I'm thinking, like, what, what was wrong with the mailman's nose? <laughs> the nose, 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 right? But not just the mailman. What was wrong with the mail sifters, both starting in Victoria, B.C., and then the whole, all the way down the line through Honolulu, through Manoa Valley, post offices, etc., I don't get it, so if that wasn't Jai intervention, I don't know what to say, honestly, but it got through, but anyway, I then I tried the basketball, so he stuffed it in, he sealed it up, and uh, I was real curious, is this thing going to bounce even? Yes, it bounces, it bounces with an elbow of weed inside, as long as you pump it up to full size, it will bounce, not like perfectly bounce, enough to fool someone if necessary. No smell, because it's sealed tight. And uh, I carried it. I carried it right under my arm, onto the plane. 
you know, it's like a six hour flight, and you know, you're, this was like 1995, but even today you could probably carry a basketball, but uh, you know, and I put like signatures on it, and I even made a, uh, a card of authenticity, because I said that it was the uh, Dream Team Basketball from the 1992 Olympics, the U.S. Dream Team, I said it was an autograph ball, so obviously there was only 50 of them made, I know, because I looked in the buying one, but it was five grand, Ala Moana Shopping Center, and uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so, uh, I played that out, and I was like, well, you know, if they ask me, I can't, like, check it, because it's, like, expensive and rare, and Jordan Signature, Larry Bird, blah, 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 all them guys, and yeah, so that's what I did, me and my bro got on the plane, and I had it with me on my waist, got the Y, got off, it was, all, it was the easiest thing ever, it was beautiful, anyway, how did I get into that story? this had nothing, Oh yeah, this guy Mike Love, you know. That, can you hear that? I'm gonna let you take a gander because it's real nice. Great to on my trackpad over there. These little uh, juice boxes when they're full. If you even barely squeeze it a tiny bit, juice comes out the straw on you. you. Gotta keep that in mind, you know. And I did, I was gentle, but even. But no worries, just, you know. Do this. Walking Sticks review, and uh, I'm sure I'm all already nine minutes in, yeah, that's just the flow flow styling of po pokey class weapon systems, anyway, I'm gonna do it real quick style, I got them nice and lined up even this time, yeah, well actually got a couple here, I'm gonna start with the color woods, remember, if you wanna learn more about these, Brazos walkingsticks.com Okay, I'm telling you, I mean, everybody loves to have a walking stick or stash. Alright. First one I'm going to show you is one of my very much favorites. And this is a color wood. Okay? And, uh, alright, that's that side. Okay, so, that's a derby style handle. See the curve? It's more very traditional. 
Anyway, just, I mean, seriously, it's rare to see something this beautiful in the world of walking sticks, is it not? Well, this is a cane, technically, and this is, this would be a 36-inch 36 36-inch cane of the green and yellow. I call it the Aussie version because they, you know, that's their colors, right? Australia, green and yellow at the Olympics and whatnot. Right. And then, we, we jump right into the, the blue version of the color woods. And again, so there you go with the derby handle. Okay? And just look how beautiful you guys. This might, what would I call this? This is the this is the get out of hand and you, you get you get the kind black and blue eye puffy puff <laughs> or this could be like um um you know cops or no what do they call them blue bloods like that show with with uh with the Hawaiian private eye magnum PI you know he, he's on that show called Blue Bloods well, they don't need blue buds like wealthy people from Rhode Island, like the Vanderbilt. They mean blue buds like the blue of the police, right? Well, there you go. This is for all you. Nice, right? Okay, we're moving along. Right there, the final of the three color wood versions. This is plum. Yeah. Nice, right? Real nice, yep. You know, different kind of flavor. Of course, there's the derby handle again. And I keep saying what kind because there's another type of handle. You know, I don't have it right here, but I'm sure I got it somewhere. I prefer the derby because when you do self defense techniques like me, you want to have a nice little hook. Because if you kind of grab someone behind the neck and pull them, you know, like Steven Seagal, who doesn't know a damn thing about martial arts, he's just an actor. But anyway, but he, he looks good. He's a good actor, a great actor. And he does the whole, and they come at you, you flow with the rhythm and pull them and push them, manipulate their um, body flow. Oh, yeah, well, you can grab somebody that. Back of the neck and just like pull them this way, like, that way, grab the jet, left, left, and then back, back, yeah. So, you know, you put, if you have a flat, yeah, yeah well, you can't do it, right? Okay. Alright, so this is a call with me, and I want to show you something. When you get something from Brazos, they send you a little card. See, it says color wood, and, um,. They do a little of the explanation. Well, check that dude right there. Well, guess who he is? He's not just some, like, model they hired. He made them, okay? That's the wizard at Brazos Walking Sticks in the Brazos Valley, Texas. Yeah. Okay, and guess what? On the back, it even says the dude's name, right? Now, let me see if I can get that for you. Alright? See that right there? Daniel Ants. That's him. That's the wizard. And I've got like 12 of these color woods. And he's on every one. Okay? You know, the, see, I'll show you. Look, I got them all right here. You know? What's that one say? Oh, that's his exotic. Oh, that's exotic. There's another color wood. Oak. Right? There's another color wood. Um, color wood, color wood, so you can see. And guess what? Guess who's on the back of them all? Guess who's on the back of them all? Yep, there he be. My boy Daniel Ans. You know? And you know, I'll open it, right? Oh, who's that guy right there? Look, what's he doing? He's making a cane exquisite. True. Alright, so. Alright, what are we going to go to next? Okay. Alright. Let me get this guy out of here. This is... Oh yeah. What is this? Oh, yep. Yeah, this is the Big Mac Daddy. This is the Cypress Hill Gleeka. Okay, this is Padak Wood. I made a big couple of videos, but just take a gander at that beautiful reddish hue. Okay, Padak is from West Africa. 
It's one of the hardest woods on the Janka scale. And this this is padak slash maple. Okay, and it's laminated. And just look at that. I mean, this is not your typical walking stick, am I right? I mean, just, oh man. It's 58 inches, that's why it's really difficult for me to um, show you. It's the tallest one I have in my collection. 58 inches, 60 inches is 5 foot. You know, so, you know, look at that big, bam, I mean, you know, that's something to hold on to, right? And if you get, you know, if you practice, you know, and, and you want me to teach you guys how to, how to staff fight? Alright, I'll teach you real quick, because it'll take me about 30 seconds. If someone comes at you, and they point a gun at you, you smack them in the waist. Right, they drop the gun. Typically, if they don't, you smack them until they do. Then you kick the gun, and then when they turn around to see where you kick, because they're gonna want to do that because they really want to get that gun back. Because that's what they're addicted to in self-defense is the gun. That, that's what makes them equal to people that study the martial arts. Right? Well, when they turn around, you just go back, go back, and that's it. There you go. That's that's your bojitsu, jojitsu, and half bojitsu in 30 seconds. Kopoki class. Right. Now, okay. This one is one of my originals. Okay. This, yeah, you can see I really doctored it. But it's the same kind as the one I showed you, but this is called Bokoki wood. And it's also with the maple and the laminated. And yeah, you can see I put um tennis grip, head tennis grip on. It's real nice actually. And uh I even put some uh you know things on there. This is called human race. You can see that's the put on the whole armor of God. I got a little of the blue, that's the land of the long white cloud, representing, that's the uh, United States Military Joint Spec Ops, that's the, uh, the flag for Sicily, you know, I'm half Sicilian on my mom's side. Course. And that's the flag for India, because when I got this two years ago, I was really, my spirituality was very much India-based, aka yoga and transcendental meditation, because, you know, I haven't always been the current Jesus freak that I am now. You know, for 23 years, I was deep in the transcendental meditation and whatnot. Alright, and then, of course, you know, that's, um, the other side of the, you know, this is the United States Special Operations Command, and then another of the versions of Ete Ro, Ete Ro, I like to say Ete Roa, because I like to be like my mentor, Dr. Blanchard, he always had to pronounce words his own style, you know, and it didn't matter how stupid it sounded, so I like that, I used to like that about him, because why should we confirm, conform to like, okay, the Maoris will say, well, it's a Tayro. But you know what? I like. I like uh, a Tayro. Right? A Tayro. I mean, come on, which one sounds cool, right? Alright, see you guys. And then down here, that's uh, the Germany flag. Because my dad's side, my biological father, is basically where France meets Germany, but more on the German side. And then, um, that's, uh, Scottish, because he's half German, half Scottish, and I really do see a lot of German and Scottish in my behavior, my meticulousness and focus with the German and the Scottish, a lot of strength, and, I don't know, you see traits, you know, alright, so, Anyway, I got this thing, you know, my my initials CSF, and then a little bit 
I think I write that. Oh, it's too small. I don't even know why they had me write something. You can't see it. And then right here, it, that's actually a old school Russian flag. And am I like a Russian spy? <laughs> nice. Oh, you know why I got that? One of my favorite shows is the one called The Americans. I don't know if you've seen that. It's like basically 80s, uh, you know, you know, um, KGB plants called Americans, you know, whatever. It's a great show. And, and that's, that was my reason. Okay, so, and then right there, you know, USMC, United States Marine Corps, put on the whole armor, guys. Anyway, that's your Picote Maple. Just look how beautiful, you guys. Oh, look at that Picote would just stick out at you. Isn't that just crazy? I mean, oh man, it's just nuts. I think it's nuts. This is, this is Raza's, they're wizards. They're just on a, another level. Alright, moving along. Oh yeah, that's 55 inches. And my second, obviously my second longest. And then from there, oh yeah, this is perfect. It jumps down to 48 inches. And this is where the more pragmatic for me. This is called Joe Jitsu. Basically, Bo Jitsu 71 inch staff. Then, right in the middle, around 48 inches, this is 48 inches. That's Joe Jitsu. And then, you know, half of 71 is like 35 and a half. That's half Bo Jitsu. Alright, so this is, uh, it's the same kind of laminated, but this is maple and walnut. Okay? And I think it's beautiful. I really do. Look how, look, it just pops, right? And you can see that it's easier for me to get the whole thing. And uh, the handle is not as huge as the, but it's still, it's enough to go, but bad, bad, you know, it's light, it's, it's a perfect stance. I mean, you see the one in The Walking Dead, with the black dude Morgan and the little kid? It's just a broomstick. You can't do better than a broomstick, seriously. But I like how they, uh, carved this side and made a point. We can actually get tips that have for like hiking in ice and snow a nice beautiful brass. Yeah, strong solid brass point on it, real sharp. And it's doubled up as a rubber tip. You could just take it off for the thing. So if you ever was in it real bad, they were getting the uh, hint. Take that off. You know. Bam, now you need business. Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see what I have right here for you? You seriously, you still want to continue probing my defenses, etc. Alright, so, like I said, 48 inch maple walnut lemonade. Okay, now, I'm going to grab this, by the way, you guys, I just got this. Let me throw this in real quick, okay? This is the most comfortable, beautiful, lovely blanket I've ever had. It's queen size, and um, it's got leopards on it. I'm not going to undo it, but it's just beautiful. And it was only $22 on Amazon. It's crazy. All right, so there you go. All right. Oh, man. Let's grab all these suckers at one time. Yep. All five of these deviants, these rebel brazos, because, uh, see it there? All five, because like I told you before, um, when I see a really good deal, I try to get as many as I can, and these guys, they usually like $160, $170 each, because look how much, yeah, you would think, yeah, sure, you know, but... Fifteen dollars each. <laughs> it's nuts, right? Well, I was able to get six. You know, as you can see, I won't do one at a time. And I put a couple this and that on them. You know, to make them my own. Jai works in mysterious ways. A little bit of yellow camouflage type thing to make for the grip. You know, and you know, a little doctor in. Anyway, yeah, fifteen dollars each. I got six total. And if, if one of you just wants one, you know, like I said before with the, with the, uh, 
with your cloud leopard shirt, just say something. Teach me something. Do something. Just say something. I mean, we are in recruitment phases right now for Heaven on Earth Project, Rocky Ora. Build it, and he will come it. And you know, we're always in a recruitment phase, you know, we don't really have many structured rules, per se, but say something, man, just say something, like that Bob Marley song, say something, alright, anyway, this is just your classic bamboo, and I can't believe I paid like 30 bucks for a piece of bamboo when I lived in Hawaii, and I used to make like, Three bamboo didgeridoos because you could bust out this and be like, mm. me and my bro are really good at that. But this is a skinnier, you can't really be like, this is skinnier. Anyway, he, but he fire, you know, you know, took the fire to it, fire treated it. And I thought it was really nice. I uh, bought it on eBay. Some dude in Iowa, he just did a little stringy string, you know, like, probably took him a minute. <laughs> Anyway, but it's strong because, you know, bamboo, pound for pound, stronger than steel. Oh, yeah. You know, bamboo don't mess around. And you wait, it makes for a great staff. And me and my brother, when we were free range feral humans, between the track of Waikiki to UH Manoa, you know, we walked that every day. Yeah, that was our, we were like tigers, we just walked. Back, it was like two ways in, and in a canal in the middle, we just, we were like tigers. We just walked our territory from sun up to sun down, all night, everything. We just did it. And, uh, but we had to have our bamboo staffs. We made new ones every night. We could use a digital bill if we felt like it. Yeah, so anyway. Alright. Alright, what's next? Okay. Next up, this is a hame map. It's called H A N E Hame Handle. I call it, uh, Beat Ya Ass. Or Texas called Bubba Stick. Alright, but it's basically a horse, a sand saddle handle. You know, where they hold on and you know, it's a hame and it's made out of brass. Well, let me just tell you, man. It does not play. Not only that, but this is made from bloodwood. Bloodwood, like uh, Padak, is way up there on the Jenga scale. Way up. In fact, Bloodwood is even higher. It's one of the hardest woods on Earth. I think, I believe, South American style, Amazon style. And uh, you can see it doesn't even have much of a twist like your normal Brazos had. This is so strong. I mean, if I had to grab one day, like, if a, if a Nephilim, you know, a giant attacked me, you know, like if I was David and, and Goliath and all I had was my staff, or Moses was there and he was like, yo, I'm gonna throw you my staff. I'd be like, well, throw the kind of blood with the hand, because I could crack Goliath with this thing, man. I'm telling you, take out his kneecap. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, yeah? You are a big, big tree. I am a small, small act. Choppy, choppy, styly. Alright, yes, so there you go. Moving right along. Keep it with the, the hand handle theme, okay? But this here is, take a guess, does that look familiar to you guys? I don't know if I'm doing a very good job, you guys. Okay, there we go. Look, you see the reddish? Yes, what's that remind you? I just did it. Yeah, padak. That's right. That's a padak. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. These are 40 inches. You know, a cane is typically 36 inches. But, you know, I come in at a whop with six foot one and a half, large and in charge, a big hundred kilogram styly. So, you know, I gotta have a 40 inch. Just give me an extra four inches. Yeah, so anyway. All right. And they even go down to 34 inches, because I got my mom one. You know, all these color woods, I was like, well, my mom don't really need a cane. But, you know, she can appreciate fine work and shit, you know, and whatnot. So, yeah, I got her a little 40, 34 inches, because my mom's like, you know, she's petite. You know, she's Sicilian. She's like, barely above midget class warrior. I see. Uh, 
Okay. Go. Change C. Manifest. Word speak. I fuse. Let's shake my gloves out, okay, guys? Make one sit. I be in lay. Mind the drum in day. I seek. Rev lay. Make life. Sell brain. I be. Change C. Manifest. Word speak. I fuse. Be press. I make one sit. I be in lay. Mind the drum in day. I seek. Rev lay. Make life. Sell brain. I be. Change C. Manifest. Word speak. I fuse. Be press. I make one sit. I will be manipulated. Mind control. And in the day that I will seek the revelation. Make my life a celebration. I will be the change of seeking. Manifest the word of speaking. I refuse to be impressed. So I will make my own decision. I will be manipulated. Mind control. And in the day that I will seek the revelation. Make my life a celebration. I will be the change of seeking. Manifest the word of speaking. I refuse to be impressed. So I will make my own decision. I will be manipulated. Mind control. And in the day that I will seek the revelation. Make my life a celebration. I will be the change of seeking. Manifest the word of speaking. I refuse to be impressed. So I will make my own Big gun on me, you guys. Don't help me. Got me locked down. Oh no. Got me locked down, you guys. Get the big gun, they got the 50 cal on me. Sniper American sniper style. Surgery now. Dig out. Bullet. One of your cohort deviants. Anti NWO Agenda 21. Cohort. No. This is one of them. Multi tools. John Spire. 
Popoki weapons systems right here and then do it like like thus but you know but you know yep yep we got they do say the pen is the mightiest swords let me just say this is one of the nicest pens I've ever used I love this little tactical pen LED light slash knife slash gotta break out a window and steal a car you know plus super glued on just in case red laser and pretty powerful little light on this guy actually cause this has a light on it let me show you see I don't have to hold that button down that's not that powerful right but now look at this one now Boom! Yeah, you see that? See that? Okay, there you go. Ready? Bam! Bam! Now look at this one. Ready? See that? <laughs> yeah, so the little dude's got more power than the big dude. Kind of like, like a common, common theme in, you know, at least in David and Goliath. Man, right? Okay. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, kind of soccer, isn't it? Yeah, of course. What else is new? All right, so oh, these are just a couple more color woods. Like I said, plum, but you know that's still the derby style handle. You know, which is feels real nice. You know, and I just had this idea, you guys. I'm gonna get like, you know, I'm gonna get like, I don't know, maybe a thousand of these. <laughs> Yeah, because you could get them for a couple bucks each. I'm gonna get like a thousand. I'm gonna glue them all up and down one of my staffs. And I'm gonna have them electrically wired thus, one button. And you know, so you have the option like, can you imagine pointing? Oh, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna glue a thousand on a staff. But honestly, at the bottom, at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, right here, six, 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 yeah, you could get a lot, and if you had one button to power them all, you could melt some dude, okay, no, no, if you were able to make it so all the lasers pointed, you know, came to the same point, you can you can melt a hole through some dude. <laughs> oh, it just makes me giddy thinking about it. I'm a mad scientist, y'all. Another one of them, and you know there you go. Thirty. Of course, this one's I can feel it. This one's only thirty-six inches. All right. So, well, I got them all piled up. I can't really get it. Uh, just to show you, this is not Brazos, but this is one of my early buys because I liked it because it's, it's kind of it's really light, it's cheap, you know. But I don't know, I'll give it to like a little kid probably. If any kids out there watching, you know, say something, I'll send you that little dude, right? And then, uh, this is probably one of my worst purchases. Of course, this is not Brazos. This did not look this small in the picture. It looked like it had a nice big handle. Look at that little tiny little thing. What are you gonna do with look at the bamboo? It says nice bamboo, strong bamboo staff. Look, look at this. My finger is just this thick. I can crack this thing so like a, if I hit somebody on the dome, it would just crack. So, yeah, okay. Alright. I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid for because it's too embarrassing. It's too embarrassing, like I said, it's my worst purchase ever. Okay. But, uh, this brings us back to an earlier video. These are the select wood. That's a maple handle. And that is, uh, Bubinga. That's called Bubinga wood. And, uh, I'm gonna kind of speed it up, wrap it up. And, uh, okay, alright, 
So, you know, once again, the, uh, the Blue Bloods style Isn't that beautiful? Nice, isn't it? It's very nice. But, of course, with the Haim handle. The busty in the, in the dome or, um, Texas, uh, Bubba Stick with K. Yeah, so, nice, right? But this was only 37 inches. Yeah. And, um, uh, alright. Last but not least, well, actually, actually, not last but not least, but, um, okay. So, this right here, maple. This is maple with the derby handle. And this is a 40 incher. I usually try to get the 40 inches because even that extra 4 inches, you know, if someone's got a gun, you know, it's just, eh, it's something. Alright, but this right here is maybe his top 3. That's put that. Oh, it smells so good because I've been, uh, been polishing it with my orange oil. And, uh, see that right there? And you see the B? You haven't seen that on the other one because these are select wood. Brazos sticks, canes, very nice. The select choice wood, and that's called lace wood. Just look at that. You know, like I said in the other video, it reminds me of looking at cells and microscopes, the muscle straight, straight is. And uh, this is lace wood, but also AKA leopard wood. So, of course, it's going to appeal to me. You know, Kokoki class, Catamount class, Leopard, um, Jaguar, Mountain Lion, Puma, etc. So, this is, yeah, this is one of my favorites. Of course, this is only a 36 incher. It doesn't have the derby handle. See, there you go. It don't have the derby handle. But yet, at the same time, it's got, you know, everything's got its goods and bads and whatnot, you know? The only perfect thing in this universe is Ja and his only begotten JC, the big bad Cypressil Glica, Jesus Christ, and that's it. The rest is flawed. Flawed systems. Whether it's mind, body, soul, human systems, and you know, whatever. Alright. Okay, now this truly is the last one. Okay, oh, uh, yeah. This is the only other 58 incher that I have. And I showed you them cards in one set. Oh, right? Well, here it is. Okay, start there. Well, look at that. I like that. Look how that's nice. That's, you know, that's a good size. And this is oak, like I said. You know, oak is very, very strong wood from the Americas. And, um, you know, acorns from the oak. And, uh, What's that Lord of the Rings where it was about the oak? And that, that, that flew right over my head, man. But it was something to do with the oak. Like, he's got the oak. I don't know. But, yeah, it's like 58 inches. Pretty big. Makes for a real long, you know, style Everyone's got their preferences and style It's about finding who you are. You know, it's a, it's a journey with the almighty creator, and you're in self, you know, go explore, explore the outer, explore the inner, let me just say this, right, explore an open mind, like, take chances, yeah, be curious, I mean, I'm like, the paragon of curious, I'm the curious cat. And I've suffered big time. Donald Trump, huge time. But I'm grateful for all of it. You know, because that would strong kill you does make you stronger indeed. I'm grateful for all my sufferings. And uh, but what I'm saying is yeah, explore inner and outer. You know, be a mental psycho not per se. But you guys let me just tell you, I don't want to be like what do you call it when you tell the person how something's gonna end? You know, you, you don't wanna like I don't wanna tell you how it's gonna end, but you can seek it north, south, east, west. You can take your ass all the way to the edge of the dome, where the dome goes into Antarctica, which surrounds this circular flag. You can search all the way to the top of the dome above Polaris, where it's at its highest. 
go all over it. Get a Zeppelin, a magical Zeppelin with, with super technical. Fly everywhere. Guess what? After searching for millennia, you're going to come to the same conclusion I did. Alright? There's one true God. That God is the same God of Abraham, Jacob, and, and he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, okay, to save our asses. He made the sacrifices, sacrifices, and that's why when I say I'm well saved in the blood of Jesus, it's because he sacrificed his blood for our benefit. And that's why I serve at his behest. Because the two youths are on the throne, in the throne room, above the throne Guess what? God's throne. He watches. It. And JC is to his right hand side on his own throne. But guess what? Who's sitting on his left hand side? Well, see that, that that's what it is right there for you. You don't wanna you don't wanna have goals and I want money and I want a million dollars and I want chicks and I, you know, you all got these goals, right? You know, and then this Game of Thrones goes out and everyone's like, Hey, Game of Thrones is so cool! Why? Why is it so cool? What's the difference between Game of Thrones and some other thing that came out? You know why? Because each and every one of us is playing the Game of Thrones. You know, like that, that song, you know, you know, everybody wants to rule the world. It's true. Because if you can look deep within yourself, okay, then it, it's not about... Yeah, not everyone wants to rule the world. Because this is where the designation takes place. Okay, some of us... Some of us are humble and want to serve at the two youths behest. Yes, me, okay? And, but some follow Lucifer, and they want God's throne. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now that's where the that's where you pick what side you want to be on. Jah and Jesus, the good, or Lucifer and the fallen angel, demonias, and all of his puppet. You know, whatever's. You gotta choose because let me tell you, being on the fence, Switzerland style, that was all right before, but not no more. These are these are the final days before the big bad Glika comes down and starts putting names in the book of life, like it just says right there, in the book of life. He's gonna put names in the book of life. Well, yeah, I want my name in the book of life. See, back to the Game of Thrones. I don't just want that. I want the seat, I want the throne to get his left. And why? Why? Do I have this need for like a special feeling of importance? No. It's got nothing to do with that. I could care less what anybody thinks of me. Seriously. But I want to be as close as possible to my creator, my father. And that's really what it comes down to. I want to be that close. I want to be so close. I want to be at the chair on his left. Because check it. When he establishes the seven on earth kingdom on earth, as in Lord's Prayer, I don't know what y'all seeing yourselves as doing, picking fruits, growing stuff, whatever. My thing, honestly, just straight up, give me a nice chair, 
you know, God's, God and Jesus, just watching, people watching has always been my thing, and that's it, I don't want, thou shalt not want, I don't, I really don't. But I do want to be as close to God as possible. I want to make that significantly clear. Because I'm not ashamed to say I'm playing the game of thrones. But I want to make it clear. I don't seek God's throne. I don't seek Jesus' throne. I seek that which is vacant, the one to his left. And so should you. Okay? A little aggro at the end, but you know, sometimes you gotta turn it up a bit. Anyway, you guys, right, gonna, gonna, yeah, gonna break it down. <laughs> break it down, close it out. It's been lovely. Just finish with a little, a little tiny bit more show and tell. My, my lighter I just got. Yeah, it's the Adidas tray foil, you know, but you can see it's got the red, green, and gold, and it looks like a cannabis leaf. You know, I really like it, but full disclosure, you know, it's not a Zippo, and I haven't really tested many lighters, but if I fill this thing up with fluid, two days later it won't light. And I don't know why. It's, look, it's just like a damn zipper. I mean, look, take it out. It's got the same cloth. You take out, you know, that like that. You squirt the stuff in and stick it. Stick it, you know. Just do it like that. And Hmm, got this wrong, I think. Oh, man. Really in there. Oh, yeah, I had it backwards. Yeah, so anyway. Stick it back in, and there you go, you know? You can even do, like, Andrew Place Clay. And... Well, no, can't do it. Wait. Oh, there you go. But I can't light it, you know, because, like I said, man. Wait, I get a light out of that? Nah, I told you. It just filled me a couple days ago, so. No, man. I paid 10 bucks for it. Well, there you go. Alright, that's it, though. I'm signing out. It's been beautiful.